welcome to the Movie Throne. I'm your host, the one and only King Gansas, here to bring you another movie review on my YouTube channel. Wow, there's a reason why I have a smile on my face, guys. Well, if you guys have been following me lastly or been watching my last movie reviews, I've been doing this whole Greek mythology thing, you know, revisiting my origins there because I am Spartan in nature or in blood. Come on, King, Leonidas, do I have to go? You know, that's all I got to say about that. Anyways, what am I talking about? Well, I'm doing movie reviews. The movie review I decided to do, and I go, yes, this is a guilty pleasure, and I don't care how much hate or how many how, or how much last you guys are getting out of this, but I enjoyed this movie. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Hercules starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Rebecca Ferguson. Yes, the same one from Fallout. Holy crap. This movie is good. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how, if it doesn't follow the mythology or whatever. Amazing people in this cast, and I totally forgot about it. This came out, guys, to give you some history. It's directed by Brett Ratner. came out July 2014, so only six years ago. But it's one of my favorites. That's why when I first seen it, I didn't see it in the theater. When it came out on Blu-ray, which I just showed you guys, there was an extended category. You know what? I'm going to pick the stand thing up. You know what? 20 bucks that can go wrong. The Rock. Who can go wrong, right? It's one of the rock was people were laughing. Oh, the rock's doing this. The rock's doing... no. Trust me, I believe you guys. This is loosely based on Hercules, the son of God. You know, you know the whole lore. I guess Hera can't stand him, makes him go through the ten accolades or whatever the hell it is of his life that he has to prove himself to the gods that he is who he is, and so they can leave him alone. You know. But it shows that in the title credit, which you guys will get. It's only an hour and 30 minutes, so trust me. You can watch this and The Wrath of the Titans or something. Under three hours, you get two movies. This one more entertaining than the other. I like this one more than the last uh, one I movie reviewed. So let me get you some of the cast. So The Rock is Hercules. Ian McShane. You guys know Ian McShane. Trust me, he's playing in a lot of amazing movies over the years. He plays in Farious. It's the guy who's kind of like this fortune teller guy. Uh, John Hurt is the, I guess, king who asks for his services to help him deal with this problem. But he ends up doing being the uh, villain of the whole thing. Uh, Rufus Sewell, I told Autolycus, I can't even pronounce the name properly. Uh, Axel Hein, Titius. Ingrid Bolso Birdow. Uh, she plays Atlanta. She's an Amazon. And I'm telling you right now, when you guys see her on the screen, I thought it was Nicole Kidman. She looks so damn close of a younger version of Nicole Kidman. It is not funny. Like, you will you guys let me know in the comment section when you guys do check it out for yourself. And you tell me if that's not Nicole Kidman. I tell you, fooled me. Uh, who else is there? There's Reese Ritchie. Plays Iolis. Joseph Fiennes. Uh, plays King... Eurytheus, he's the guy who kind of pretty much uh, screws Hercules over. You find out that he does something to him, uh, frames him basically. Uh, Tobias Sentleman, Eurytheus, that's the guy who they're trying to stop. Peter Mullins, uh, he plays Cetacles. I don't know exactly who that is in the movie, I forgot. Rebecca Ferguson, she plays Eugenia, that's the... Uh, John Hurt's daughter, who's trying to do right and what well, she's trying to protect her kid, and her kid's played by Isaac Andrews. He plays Arius, but uh, it is crazy. It starts off like your typical rock movie, you know, like some fights and whatever the hell battle scenes. Uh, the credits look good. It looks good overall. You feel like you were in Greece, and it wasn't a boring storytelling of the you know of uh, Hercules himself because the Rock he's charismatic, right? Yeah, well, yeah, whatever, man. If you wanted a movie that had The Rock in it that's entertaining, you guys are going to love it. Action is there. The drama is there. The storytelling is there. Heartfelt moments. Uh, you kind of felt for him and why he didn't want to get close to anybody, but he did what he did. Um, you know, tweaks here, left turns, uh, twists and turns. Uh, one heartfelt moment. Oh, my God. When you... Uh, learn about the true happenings of what happened to his family you'll see that it kind of makes you believe overall like you know what are, were these guys really gods or were people that are just good that people wanted to believe in somebody so they made up these heroes back in the day Rebecca Ferguson is stunning on the screen when she comes on you're like wow 
you know, you, you understand why. If you guys watch the last Mission Impossibles with Tom Cruise there, follow. You'll know exactly why everybody loves Rebecca Ferguson. She's amazing. You can't go wrong with her. John Hurt, come on. Do I have to say anything? Him and anything makes everything good. But overall, I highly recommend this. I don't care. You guys don't have to agree with me. You guys let me know in the comment section or whatever. I highly recommend you guys check this out. Okay, now. Let's get into some spoilers so you guys know what the hell I'm so giddy or happy about this film. It's The Rock. Okay? I don't care. Rock brings his own persona. Just the opening credit scenes that kind of goes through the lore of Hercules without... This is this part of the movie, then he does this and he does that. They did it, like, I guess in a two-minute montage during the beginning, which introduces you to Hercules kind of thing and the lore. About, you know, why Hera hates him, son of Zeus, A, B, and C. Uh, you, you get introduced to his family. Uh, the accolades. You get uh, to kind of see what Hercules is here. Basically, he's a mercenary for hire. He has a couple of his friends that go along with him for the ride to kind of, you know, buff him up a little bit. To say, oh my god, this is Hercules, the king god, so they can make money out of it, right? So you kind of like left to believe, is it really Hercules, the son of Zeus, or is it this persona that everybody's building him up to be and kind of like that's the lore and you're kind of scared shitless because of it. Opening scenes are great. Fight scenes are amazing. The characters from Ian McShane, Rebecca Ferguson that you meet later on, the Nicole Kidman look-alike, oh, whatever, she's an Amazon. She looks like Nicole Kidman. I swear to God when I first seen it, because it's been a good six years I haven't seen this movie, I'm like, is that Nicole Kidman? She fooled me. Let's just say that and I think you guys are going to know what I mean exactly when you've seen it. Everybody played their parts. The scenery is phenomenal. I believe that it was in Greece, you know, with the twist, a modern day touch to it. It's more comical than realistic. Let's just say that. Ian McShane, amazing, like a fortune teller. Jokes landed when they were told. Action scenes, amazing. Uh, John Hurt, holy shit, as the guy you thought he, he's being hired to be, you know, you brought Hercules along to kind of deal with this problem. Meanwhile, He's the bad guy who wants to extinguish the last remnants of anything to go oppose him. You find out about Hercules' uh, family, what went down, how that nasty son of a bitch of a king in Athens uh, framed him, made him look like he was a kid killer, white killer, whatever. So he kind of kept to himself Hercules because of that. He didn't want to get close to anybody, but he does. He kind of falls for, you can see him falling for someone else down the road. Um... Beats up, meets up with uh, Rebecca Ferguson's character kind of lies to him that hey she was telling him to come and help fight her father's fight but she really wanted to protect the kid love that uh, the lore is great uh, come on it's The Rock right I enjoyed myself take it what it is it's kind of like uh, it reminded me like a knight's tale meets uh, with a little bit of Greek mythology together that's what I have to say about it you know if you like the immortals if you like 300 I think you're gonna like this one. I watched the other uh, Hercules with uh, Killian Lutz, and that's a little bit more different. But I don't know I didn't enjoy it as much as I did this one. Well, I, guys, that's it. I'm not gonna. Ra I can ramble on and on because I don't want to tell you guys the whole entire movie. But you will get excited if you love The Rock, you love Hercules, you like the lore, you like fight scenes, you like. Oh my god, it's just crazy. It's just stupid fun overall, right? I liked it. It's like a guilty pleasure of mine. I can watch this over and over. I forgot. Like, I forgot half the movie because I haven't seen it in six years. But with great actors in it, Rebecca Ferguson, The Rock, John Hurt, I'm telling you, uh, Joseph Fiennes, I'm telling you, there's Ian McShane. If those guys don't sell you the movie, then I don't know what the hell will. If you don't want to take the mythology seriously, this is the movie for you. But anyways, let me know in the comment section below, guys. Did you watch this movie at all? Are you going to watch it now? And if you do, and you did after, come back here on the channel in the comment section to tell me what you guys thought. Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? Should you just forget it, delete it? Or would you highly recommend it like how I have? Just let me know in the comment section. So anyways, guys, that's my movie review with Hercules starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Hope you guys like it. Check out my other videos right here on the Movie Throne. And like always, stay off the King's Throne. Tune into my channel. More great content and things to come your way in the weeks to come. So until then, be the hell good.